Pivot tables are all about summarizing and consolidating data, right? Then why on earth would we consider a topic on how to unsummarize data displayed in a pivot table? The answer is quite simple. Often we utilize pivot tables to summarize very, and I mean extremely complex data. Just because we want to see some of the detail doesn't mean we want to see all of the detail. So the pivot table still summarizes and compacts the data more so than the original raw data set does. Secondly, we often need to do special things. Nothing is ever simple or straightforward, right? Let's say, for example, that we had a single large data set that had the sales figures for different regions and for different sales reps. But our management team wants to see a pivot table for each of the regions, not all of them together. That could be done by simply creating a lot of different pivot tables, each for a different region. Sounds like a lot of copying and pasting and modifying to me. As I so often say, I prefer to do things the easy way, not the hard way. So let's explore the easy way to accomplish both of these things using pivot table options. We're currently looking at the pivot tables options file that's found in the chapter two working files folder. It's a very simple pivot table based off of some source data that has 50 records in it. It's currently showing us that we have several sales reps, Beth, John, Mark, and Susan, and they each sell three different types of plans, corporate, government, and private. The summary calculations haven't been formatted or anything yet, but we can see that they are summing or totaling their sales for each of these different types of plans, as well as giving us the grand total, both for the types of plans for everybody, as well as all of the plans for each individual sales rep. In addition, we have a filter in place, and this is seen at the very top of the pivot table area. In this case, it's in cells A1 and B1. It says that we can filter this by region. The first question we may ask ourselves as a manager or somebody in management is, what exactly is behind all of these summary figures we're seeing? In other words, maybe we're curious to see exactly how Beth sold $26,604 in corporate plans. We could go back to the source data, we could sort, we could filter, we could subtotal and do all of those different things. But kind of the common theme among pivot tables is, that's the hard way. And if we say there's got to be an easier way, then pivot tables are probably gonna provide the way to do it. What we're interested in specifically is the value that is currently in cell B5. A simple double click takes that value, creates a new worksheet, and shows us all of the records that make up that value. In this case, there aren't many but we're able to see all of the individual cells that Beth made that have to do with corporate plans. All of the information is here, and we just kind of exploded, if you will, that summary figure into the detail. By default, all of our summary calculations should be able to do that. It is a feature that can be turned on or off, so if we don't want people to be able to double-click to see the details, we can disable the feature. But it certainly is nice in this case. One thing to remember is that while we're using this worksheet, we can do all sorts of things with it. Notice that it is formatted as a table so we can further sort and filter the data. But if we change any of the data here, it will not update the pivot table nor the source data. It's really kind of a cut and paste, if you will. It's not linked back to the original. This technique can actually be very useful when you're in a meeting. Let's say that we're back on our original pivot table, which happens to be sheet one. We're speaking about something in particular, and somebody from the management level says, but how exactly did we get there? It could be because it's a good figure, or it could be because it's a troubling figure. But either way, a double click on any of our summary calculations will give us a new worksheet showing us the details behind it. Now let's look at this from a different perspective. Let's say our management team wanted us to create an individual pivot table for each region. Currently, we're looking at all regions. And we can use the drop down at the top to filter the pivot table for an individual region instead of all of them. They would like to see all of these separated out. If we look at this drop down one more time, we can see that we currently have east, north, and southwest. So we would need to create three separate pivot tables. Okay, creating pivot tables isn't difficult, but if we say there's got to be an easier way, there probably is, and here's what it is. First of all, we do have to have a page filter or a report filter in place, so we have to have this field at the top of the screen. If we're looking at the pivot table fields list, it means we have to have a field under the filters area. Once that's done, we can go to the analyze tab. So our pivot table is active, 
our contextual tabs are visible in the ribbon. We go to the Analyze area, and from the very first group, the Pivot Table group, we'll find an Options dropdown. Here there's an option that says Show Report Filter Pages, and this can be either turned on or turned off. It's off by default. If we give it a click, the Show Report Filter Pages dialog appears, and we need to select which report filter we want to use. We currently only have one selected. That's Region, so there's nothing to choose. But if there were more than one, you would select the appropriate one and then click or tap OK. What you can see very simply and quickly at the bottom of the screen is that we now have a worksheet for each and every value in that field. In our case, we had three different regions in our data, and we now have three different pivot tables that are filtered appropriately for those values. These are two very different activities that are both methods of getting more data than is originally displayed when a pivot table is first created. Those default pivot tables show standard summary calculations, but we know how we can either drill down and see what's behind the summary or separate out without having to create multiple pivot tables using the old-fashioned copy and paste.